Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs and in this video, we are doing an episode of What You Working On Wednesday. Yes, so if you are a new subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and watching your girl do another episode of What You Working On Wednesday. Yes, so. Before we get started, go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe button, and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into this video. All right, so let me go ahead and give you that table of content. So what I will be doing, I set all my, what you're working on Wednesday up the same. So I'll tell you what I worked on this week, followed by what's coming up this upcoming week. We'll take a look at the Joanne pattern sale. Well, when I say take a look, basically I'm just gonna tell you what is on sale at Joanne's this upcoming week. And then I'll close out with my November sewing plans. Yes. So the first thing, let's go ahead and talk about what I sewed this week. All right, so what I sewed this week is if you remember on Monday, I'll go ahead and put the uh, video in the cards up here. So just look up and see that video. It's hashtag so purple to end ALZ. I talked about what it was. I got a little choked up in the video as well. So thank you guys for those of you who have reached out to me and said that, you know, you know, gave me words of encouragement for my family, my mother. Um, so yes, yeah, so that video went live Monday. Um, the fabric that I used in that video, it was one that was highly, <laughs> highly, it was basically, it was a fabric that so many people picked on Facebook, Instagram, and that's the fabric that my mother picked as well. So that's why I went ahead and used that. I already had plans to sew a two piece set. So I did sew Simplicity 8558 which was the pattern that I used. I also talked about that in the video. So you can go ahead and look up and see that video for hashtag so purple to end ALZ for so purple to end Alzheimer's disease. So that was the first thing that I worked on this week. The second thing that I worked on this week was the sew along for the jacket, which is Corella DeVille jacket, which is Simplicity 9342. Yesterday I did post the first part of that sew along because it's a lot of steps. It would be so difficult to follow along in one complete video because it would be super duper long. So what I did was I did split it up into three parts in order to basically walk you through the steps a little faster than just one video and done. So in that video yesterday that I posted, that was a pattern preview as well. Um, also, I did record the how you can size up your jacket. That video will be posted soon as well. And um, in that video, I also walked you through the first part of sewing your jacket together, which is the front and the back. That jacket also has a pleat, so make sure you put that pleat in the back of your jacket. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so that video, you can look up and see that video uh, for the first part of the sew along for the Corella DeVille jacket, which is Simplicity 9342. All right, so those are the two things that I worked on this week. What's coming up this upcoming week? Now, there, there is one more thing that I'm going to sew for the month of October, um, which, this is a month for a lot of different causes. So if you notice, I did the hashtag so purple to NALZ. One more hashtag that I am doing and a part of is Breast, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So um, every year I have always sewn something purple in the month of October, it's no different. I do not have anyone in my family that, have, that has or have had um, breast cancer um, at all in my family. However, I do have siblings who have friends that have overcame breast cancer. So I also have a really good friend who had breast cancer and overcame, uh, overcame breast cancer as well. And she's a survivor of breast cancer. So therefore, I am sewing a purple outfit that's coming up this upcoming week before October ends. So I'm hoping to get that up uh, by Friday to showcase what I am sewing for Breast Cancer Awareness uh, Month and also as 
my friends that are breast cancer survivors. So just hope to get that up by Friday. I am currently working on it as I speak right now. It's currently on <laughs> my dress form for me to continue working on when I have some downtime tomorrow. All right, um, also, now that I talked about what's coming up this upcoming week, that's the only thing that I have coming up this upcoming week. The next thing that I'm gonna go ahead and talk about, let's get into Joann's pattern sale. All right, so this week, Joann's is having a pattern sale, $1.99 for Butterick and McCall patterns. So if you have your list, <laughs> go ahead and make it. So you can head over to Joann's and get those patterns. Um, and the sale runs from Thursday to Saturday the 30th. It's not running into Sunday, so it's just Thursday through Saturday. That means that Butterick and McCall's will be $1.99, Vogue patterns will be $5.99. Now, I wanna also say, Vogue came out with a new collection, the, I think it's the fall collection, maybe it's the winter collection, I can't remember, um, but they may be in the pattern drawer. So you will want to go to somethingdelightful.com, that's S-O-M-E-T-H-I-N-G, D-E-L-I-G-H-T-F-U-L, Dot com something delightful.com and make your list now I want to also say something about vintage patterns and um, older patterns so like for instance butter patterns if you are looking for a pattern in the pattern drawer before the numbers of like 6600 most of them have started uh, getting removed from the pattern drawer and I went to Joann's when I did the, I went to three Joann's in my area. And I talked to all of the um, employees. So one Joann made a comment about Butterick patterns. And she stated that they have started pulling all the patterns from basically 2018 forward. So if you're looking for patterns from 2017, 2018, you will not find it in the pattern drawer. Reason being is because they do not keep no more than two years of patterns in their pattern drawer. Now, sometimes they basically forget to pull some of them, so you may be able to find them, but that is very rare. And the reason why I say very rare is because some of the patterns that I have used two years ago, I can no longer find and there's not one that's similar to it. So it's just basically like, it's, you may want to start tracing those TNT patterns like Simplicity 1165, I'm just saying. <laughs> you know, you may wanna um, start tracing some of those patterns that you want to use quite a bit, okay? So that is the tip. Another thing is McCall's. For McCall patterns, if you're looking for patterns before, 7,400, you will no longer be able to find it in the pattern drawer. So if it's something before 7,400, I have noticed that majority of my Joann's is 7,800. Once you get to like 77, 7,800, you're no longer able to find those uh, patterns in my pattern drawer. And this is three different Joann's. So you want to look at something delightful for those to see what is not out of print because those out of print patterns, you are finding yourself having to go to eBay and Etsy. And what's happening now is different people are buying these patterns for 99 cents, $1.99. They resell it on eBay and Etsy two years later for basically three, four times as much as they actually paid for it. So you're seeing patterns $5.99, $6.99 on Etsy that they actually got for $0.99, cents, $1.99. I'm not calling nobody out, I'm just being honest with the situation because you could go there and type in your pattern and see that, okay? So I'm not calling nobody out, that's not what this video is about. I'm just saying you seeing that. So therefore, it may be best that you look on these different websites, Simplicity, Simplicity website, um, something delightful, when the sale is out, go ahead and get the pattern so you're not paying three and four times your money, you know, later on, you know, two, three years later. I'm just saying, that's just, you know, be, basically being honest with the situation. All right, so that's Butterick and McCall's $1.99 at Joann, Thursday, October the 28th, 
and will end October the 30th, which is Saturday. Also, I wanna make mention that Vogue Patterns is on sale for $5.99 as well. So you can head over to Joann's for that. One final thing about Joann's, what I did find out when I went to Joann's a few days ago is new look patterns. If you have new look patterns that's on your list that you want to pick up, please go ahead and pick them up now. One thing I wanna make a note of is new look patterns are being phased out. They will no longer have new look patterns from what I'm told by one of the Joann's uh, employees is simply because there's really no new look patterns in the pattern drawer at, one, at two of my Joann's. They have basically started phasing out new look patterns, so new look is hard to find in two of my Joann's in my area. One Joann still has new look patterns, but it is not a whole pattern drawer full of them anymore. So if you have new look patterns that you, that's on your list, please go to Joann's and pick them up before they phase it out towards the end of the year. Now I hear that new look will not have any um, new patterns releasing this upcoming year in 2022. New look patterns are starting to basically branch out between Simplicity and McCall. I don't know how, how true that information is, but that's just the information that I was given by one of the Joann's employees at one of my locations. All right, so now that I talked about Joann and all of they, you know, basically all of their patterns and all of the stuff that I was given this upcoming week, Let's go ahead and go over to my sewing table and let me show you what I plan on sewing for the month of November 2021. So let's go ahead and head over there now. All right, so let's go ahead and get into my October sewing plans. So the first one is a leftover from October simply because I had other things that I needed to get done for causes and awareness and things of that sort. So um, I did not get my square neck top done. So I'm going to try to plan to do this this month in the month of November. And once again, I'm just gonna show the fabric again um, for this. So I'm between two fabrics like I was last month. I am between these two fabrics which was the green as well as this red um, and car print fabric. Now, in my last video, many of you wanted me to use the green, so I think that's what I'm going to do for this pattern. Um, use the green instead of the Ankara print and call it a day. But this is one of the first, I won't say it's the first thing that I will sew in the month of November, but this is one of the things I do wanna sew this month in the month of November. All right, so this is the next thing that I wanna sew in the, for the month of November. This is part of the top series. Um, this is the raglan sleeve top that I may end up doing. I'm between two patterns. I'm between McCall's 8147 as well as this pattern. This is the last top as part of the top series. Fall is fall y'all edition, so I'll be getting in the winter tops pretty soon. But this is a 90 to 12, so I may end up doing this pattern and also use this fabric. I love it um, for this pattern as well. But this is 90 12. So the next thing I want to sew this month in the month of November 2021 is a bodysuit. Uh, this is also part of the top series. This is the last part of the top series, part six, which is winter edition. Um, and this pattern that I wanna use is Simplicity 8513. I am aware that Brittany J. Jones has a tutorial on YouTube for this pattern, but once again, it's 8513. Um, I'm thinking I want to do view B on this pattern. However, I'm also looking at possibly doing view A on this pattern. I'm not sure which view yet, but this is the fabric that I want to use. And I do want to pair it with some um, linen style pants, some elastic linen style pants. Not sure of the pattern yet, but this is 8513. All right, so this is the next thing that I want to sew this month. And I am sewing two things because I do have like eight yards of this fabric. Now it wasn't intentionally, but I picked this fabric up in 2017, 2018. 
And then I turned around and picked it up again for something else, okay? So the first thing that I wanna do with this fabric is make Mimi G's Simplicity 8221. I wanna make this shirt dress for the fall. And yes, I would do wanna use this plaid. I plan on doing the UB on this pattern. Now, um, the shirt dress is just basically, I just wanna make a shirt dress. <laughs> So this is um, the pattern that I chose for that shirt dress for this fall. Also, I am planning on doing Simplicity 9206 as a sew along. And the reason why is simply because if you remember from my September pattern haul video, I said if I get 100 likes on that video, I will definitely do a sew along. So this will be a sew along um, sometime in November, beginning of December for this two piece set, which for me, I plan on doing the shorts possibly instead of the pants, but I definitely plan on doing the top as well. So I might just do the long sleeve top and the pants. I'm not sure of the mix that I would do yet, but uh, it will be this pattern. If you have McCall's easy endless option 4244 you can definitely use that pattern it is the exact same pattern but these are the two patterns that i will use for this uh, plaid fabric and the next thing that i plan on sewing this month is a three-piece set so <laughs> i know why right so now this is i'm doing two three-piece sets one is the this is the woven set that i plan on doing and I want to utilize this polka dot style and car print fabric with some nice um, fall colors in it, like your yellow and your orange butterfly. Now for this one, I want to do the dress, which is view C. Um, I know Brittany J. Jones did the jumpsuit. So, I mean, if I want to use the tutorial, I can and just add on the skirt or I could just do it myself, it's nothing difficult about it. This is an easy to sew pattern, but this is the fabric that I want to use for view C. I'm going to show you the fabric for view B, which is the jumpsuit. So if you remember this fabric, I did this fabric um, utilizing some pants. I did pants, which was Vogue 8883 um, for this print. And I just want to utilize the rest of the print. So I'm going to do this for view B. I think that would be amazing. And then for you see the dress, this polka dot fabric. So that is the other plan that I plan on doing. And this will be part of the three piece woven set. So that's all the plans that I have for November 2021. It's a lot, but with time and patience, I will be able to get them done. So that's all that I have for you in this November 2021 sewing plans. And I just want to mention right here that I am doing a YouTube live pattern sell Saturday, October 30th at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So come back and see me live on YouTube then. All right, that's all that I have in this video, in this episode of What You Working On Wednesday. I told you what I sold this week what's coming up this upcoming week. Also the Joanne pattern sale and close out with my November sewing plans. So thank you so much for watching. I take, I'll catch you in the next video and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So until next time, keep sewing.